with the playoffs only two weeks away, the atmosphere at the First Union Centre is tense. This game is huge. Why? Well, the visiting New York Knicks haven't missed the playoffs for 11 years. They're currently in ninth position and in grave danger of missing out on the party. And going into this game, the Sixers are tied for seventh place. As you can see, seven teams separated by only two and a half games are fighting for the final four playoff spots. So both New York and Philadelphia were hungry for the victory. Early on, they set the tone of the game by playing hard-nosed defense. Tiger blocks Ewing and Iverson high for the loose ball. That's great interior defense by Matt Geiger. Oh, Ward ran right into Iverson, no call. Geiger takes it on Ewing. There you go. Ratliff has Ewing. Theo has it blocked. Thomas trying to bust Matt Geiger. Theo Ratliff shut the door. Ward on a rope to Ewing, runs into Geiger and Ratliff, he raced that one. Sixers into action after the block. Iverson for three, yes! Houston for three. The air ball by Houston, saved by Johnson to Iverson. Well, Houston was five for five from beyond when the teams met here in February. Iverson behind the back, Ratliff, who scores for two! That's a beautiful play. Although Philadelphia gained the early lead, the Knicks stayed close by maintaining their defensive intensity. But for every Knicks basket, the 76ers had an answer, and it wasn't just Allen Iverson. Geiger steps in, strokes two more on a line. Matt Geiger having himself a first quarter. Get the ball to Matt. Larry Hughes streaking in, gets two. What a play by Larry Hughes. Philadelphia even got a little help from the refs as they became creative with their defense. And Matt finally, Geiger went through the hoop and knocked it back out. I can't believe it. All three officials missed this one. Sixers lead by six. Hughes around Sprewell. Got two. What a move by Larry Hughes. What a great play by Hughes. Iverson nearly lost it. Open. Hit two. With Philadelphia up by four points and time running out in the second quarter, each team looked to end the half with a bang. Sprewell over Snow, count it. Latrell Sprewell makes it a two-point game, still time for the Sixers. Iverson for three, yes! So Geiger and Iverson have inspired the 76ers to a narrow five-point lead. It's a typically low-scoring Eastern Conference game, due partly to the tough defense of the New York Knicks. One thing I have noticed, however, is how quickly the pace of the game can change. So keep watching. With so much at stake, anything can happen. Eric Snow setting up Iverson, who hit a three at the bell to close the half. Dips in and strokes two. Allen Iverson now with 16 to lead them all. Iverson setting up Geiger, trying to get Thomas to bite, and he gets two. Down by as many as nine points, the Knicks needed to play tougher defense. Stealing it is Charlie Ward. Iverson can't catch it. Sprewell up top for Canby, way too far. And finally stolen by Snow, up top for Hughes! Yes! He got it in! Wow! Half the flight, brothers. Great play by Larry Hughes. Canby against the long arm of the law, Theo Ratliff, and Theo says forget it! Sprewell trying somehow to escape Hughes, who was right on him. Spree hard to the goal, and Ratliff laying down the law again! In the fourth, Philadelphia looked to be on their way to a victory, but desperate for the win, New York were not throwing in the towel. Geiger bumped by Ewing, who strips him. Matt can't get it back. Childs lined up by Iverson, forget it. New York were able to come all the way back to tie the game at 67. But when they had a chance to break the tie, a sloppy pass by point guard Chris Childs gave the ball back to Philadelphia. It was now the Sixers' turn to try and break the tie. Matt Geiger makes the first one, giving the Sixers a one-point lead with 36.7 seconds to go. After Geiger connected on his second free throw, Philadelphia were ahead by two. Knicks coach Jeff Van Gundy designed a play to get the ball to their big man, Patrick Ewing. Searching for Ewing against Ratliff. Good defense. Patrick is long, and Ratliff is in there to sweep it away for the Sixers, and a foul. 
so Theo Ratliff had a chance to ice the game with a pair of free throws. The Knicks needed him to miss both and then grab the rebound. And McKee comes up with the steal, gets the rebound. Great play by Aaron McKee. What a tremendous play. Hustle plays, hustle plays. But Iverson could only hit one free throw, which did not make Pat Croce too happy. With 16 seconds left and down by three, the Knicks still had a chance to tie the game. Sprewell against Snow, not a good three-point shooter. He'll take it in against Eric over Ratliff. No, Sprewell is on miss. Now thinking three or the Knicks. Here's Houston over Snow for three. No, and over the backboard and out of bounds it goes. It'll belong to the Sixers. Boy, Allen Houston was denied in all sorts of ways by the Sixer defense. Guard Eric Snow was finally able to secure the victory for Philadelphia by nailing both of his free throws. And they make it a 2-1 to one season series in favor of New York as Ratliff catches the all-court pass and that'll do it. Well, it was a struggle and it usually is against the blue-collar Knicks, but they win it 72-67. to 67. We thought basketball was all about end-to-end -end scoring. Tonight has shown that's not always the case. Much of the excitement from that match came from some dramatic defensive plays. The New York Knicks took another hard knock and once again lacked the spark that they desperately need. But as for Philadelphia, they've just helped their possibilities of a playoff position. I think there'll be some celebrations here tonight. Still time for the Sixers. Iverson for three. Yes! And I'm here with Alan Iverson's mum. How do you think he did, your boy? Oh, I think he did absolutely. Did you always think he was going to be a superstar, or when did you realize? No, um, when he was born. You when I was carrying him, I said, if this be a boy, he's going to play basketball. How do you think Daddy did? Great. Well done tonight. It was fantastic. How would you describe tonight for you? Was that a typical game? Yeah, it wasn't one of my better ones, but you know, I, I'd rather play bad and win than play great and lose. Iverson, the cat and mouse with Ward. Iverson, that's for two. Do you think Philly are going to make the playoffs? Yeah, no question. <laughs> why, why would I think anything different? Snow up top for Hughes. Oh, yes! He got it in! Wow! I think I lost about 10 pounds of energy. Just, <laughs> man, it's a killer, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. Now that you're part of our I Sixers know. team, you got to want us to win. And that, it made you just, oof. That's it for part one from the funky, cool, psychedelic Philadelphia. In part two, I'm off to the state of Florida, where Miami come head-to-head -head with their rivals, Orlando. Don't go